Hi everybody and welcome to Energize Forever TV. My name is Fabrizio, this is my wife Sylvia, and here today we're here today to talk to you about flu. Now there's a lot of scare at the moment about this H1N1 and swine flu and people dying and whatnot, and the people are queuing up to, to get this vaccine and whatever, and people are wondering should I be vaccinated or not. Well as you know on our website we've got a free report we put together which you can uh, download and you can read for free, uh, which will give you a lot of information on what's behind this whole flu, flu jab thing. Uh, but what we're here today to do is to show you something that you can make in your own kitchen which is going to help you to prevent the flu or to help you to get over the flu within a few days. And it's something very simple to make with ingredients you can find in your local supermarket. So, so what, 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 what have we got here today and what are we going to okay. be using? I'm going to sit down. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, so we got. Okay, before I start, I would like to mention something that for me is really important. Uh, we use this remedy for years now. This is a Dr. Schultz formula. And we used it with our children, we used it ourselves for years now. And no one of us ever took medicine. Our children have never taken a drug or anything. So it's something that really, really works. Okay, so what we do is we have a blender here. It's quite powerful, but it's a simple blender. What we use are four, actually it should be five ingredients, but we have one assigned. So, but not to worry. Okay, we use the same amount, not in weight, but in uh, proportions of, we use garlic, that you know is an antiviral, anti-fungal, anti-flu, anti-everything, anti-parasites. So we use a, a, a cup of uh, garlic. We use onions. We try to find the hottest one you can find. The best, you, you, the best fruit, fruit you can find Try to find the best food you can. If you yeah, can organic, organic is possible. It's the course. best. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, just go with whatever you can find, but do it. <laughs> okay. So we put onions. We put the hottest uh, peppers you can find. Okay. Habaneros are pretty good. If you can get hold of some. And then we have ginger. Ginger is a great um, carrier to all these good things on the extremities. Usually we use. Um, Horseradish as well, I don't have it today, but uh, horseradish takes everything in the lungs and in the head, so it makes the whole thing work a lot better. Okay, and then we fill it up, we like, cover all the ingredients with apple cider vinegar, raw and filtered apple cider vinegar. Okay, we need to cover all the ingredients. Okay, so just to recap here, we've got raw apple cider vinegar, which you can find in your local supermarket. You've got fresh ginger, we've got fresh onions, fresh garlic, and habanero peppers. Okay. All into the blender. Yep, we put everything we inside, and we go. <laughs> Quite important. I can take the skin off the garlic or the uh, ginger. Because in the skin there are properties that are, are important as a healing uh, point of view. Okay, so this is our remedy. Okay, we use this as a prevention. We, you can use it on your salad with our from Italy, yeah. like spicy condiments. So we use it on our salad with our children. Sometimes it's hard to have the children take this. So what we do is you can either mix it with some uh, orange juice, for example. Maple syrup, or yeah, orange, orange juice, or some maple syrup. You can put honey with it. Or if they don't want to take it, then we rub it under the feet. Or if they got sore throat, we rub it under the throat, on the bed, whatever. <laughs> but just uh, have the children rub with this if they don't want to. Take yeah, the other thing about this now is we've just made it. Now it's actually going to be a lot more powerful in about a couple of weeks' time. So what you do is you put it in a jar. And you you would store it and keep it in the house. And then when you sort of walk by, you just shake it a bit. And, uh, and within a couple of weeks, it's going to be more powerful because all the ingredients sort of Okay, the ideal thing is to make this on the new moon. You start on a new moon, you prepare this, and you put it in a jar, as Fabrizio sort of was saying. Squash it every time you see, you see, just give it a good shake. And then uh, on the full moon, it's ready. It usually is after 14, 15, 16 days. Yeah. But the best would be to wait until the next moon. So yeah. we'll be around about uh, 28 to like 29 days. Yeah. And then you can strain it. After that, you can strain it on a coffee um, filter if it hasn't been bleached. 
so you filter and you can keep it you can keep it in your cupboard for years <laughs> actually because the uh, apple cider vinegar, the vinegar will preserve it so but really I what I want to say is that we used it we tried it we used it and it's something really really fresh in our house so yeah I mean how, how do you actually take it you explain to our viewers how yeah you there is no limit amount that you can take you start with, with one teaspoon okay. and then so you use you a spoon add, then yeah okay. you, you use a teaspoon or a spoon spoonful it would be better if you feel that you are not really well take more take take it like five six times a day even more if you want to but uh, this will fight any kind of disease basically not disease any kind virus. of virus yeah. or bacteria or fungus or anything so if, if it's still there you're not taking up so add more and add more and add more until everything will go because this will really kill anything yeah so basically to recap the way to take this supersonic is you either use a teaspoon or a tablespoon a number of times a day but if you find that a bit difficult you can always make yourself some fresh orange juice and put a few spoons of that in the orange juice blend it together and then drink it uh, the other the other option is to, as Sylvia was saying before, is to rub it and put some on your hand and rub it underneath your feet uh, or on your back, especially if kids are even here, if you've got a sore throat or something like that, or a cough, maybe on your chest, um, and basically this will go right through in, into your bloodstream and um, and help your body to, to get over the flow whatever you've got. Okay, so that's it for today. So we hope you enjoyed our, our, our recipe against the flu. And uh, have a good time, and that's all from Fabrizio and Silva on uh, our show, Energize Forever TV. See you See next you time. Bye. Bye. Bye.